Raytheon Technologies Corporation, one of the world's largest defense contractors, has found itself at the center of a major U.S. national security scandal. The U.S. government has slapped the company, now known as RTX Corporation, with a staggering $200 million fine for leaking classified technical data on some of the most advanced military aircraft and weapons systems. RTX Corporation, formerly known as Raytheon Technologies, was formed in 2020 through the merger of Raytheon Company and United Technologies Corporation. RTX has been a cornerstone in the development of advanced military technologies, including the B-2 Spirit Bomber, the F-22 Raptor, and the F-35 Lightning II. According to the U.S. State Department, between August 2017 and September 2023, RTX Corporation committed approximately 750 violations of the Arms Export Control Act, AECA, and the International Traffic in Arms Regulations, ITAR. These violations involved the unauthorized export of classified military data, which included technical information on the B-2 bomber, F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II, and other military equipment. This data was leaked to countries like China, Russia, Iran, and Lebanon. In one incident, an RTX employee traveled to St. Petersburg, Russia in 2021 with a laptop containing ITAR-controlled data on multiple military aircraft, including the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. Despite security alerts being triggered, they were mistakenly dismissed as false positives, allowing the sensitive information to potentially be accessed by Russian authorities. Another case involved an employee attempting to log into a company laptop while in Iran. This device was found to contain classified technical data on the B-2 stealth bomber and the F-22 Raptor. Although RTX's security team was able to remotely freeze the laptop, the damage had already been done. The violations were not limited to Russia and Iran. An internal investigation also revealed an employee making frequent trips to Lebanon with a laptop that held technical data on advanced missile systems like the Standard Missile 3 and Standard Missile 6. But how did this happen? The root of the problem lies in systemic compliance failures within RTX, particularly in its Collins Aerospace Division, formerly known as Rockwell Collins before being acquired by RTX in 2020. These failures included improper classification of defense articles and a lack of strict controls over exports. This negligence led to the unauthorized transfer of highly sensitive data. The fallout from these violations has been severe. The U.S. Department of State imposed a $200 million fine on RTX Corporation. However, in a settlement agreement, $100 million of this fine will be suspended if RTX uses it to strengthen its compliance program. This includes engaging an external special compliance officer for at least 24 months to oversee the implementation of these measures and to conduct external audits. This case isn't just about a fine. The unauthorized export of this data could have serious implications for U.S. military superiority. The information that leaked out could potentially help U.S.'s rival countries like China, Russia, and Iran develop countermeasures or even their own advanced military systems. It could potentially provide these adversaries with crucial insights into some of America's most advanced defense capabilities, potentially compromising their effectiveness. RTX Corporation, for its part, voluntarily disclosed these violations to the U.S. government and has expressed regret. The company is now investing heavily in its compliance programs to prevent future incidents. But the damage is done, and the repercussions of this data leak will likely be felt for years to come. The Raytheon scandal serves as a stark reminder of the critical importance of safeguarding military secrets. This $200 million fine underscores the severe consequences that can arise when defense contractors fail to uphold the highest standards of export control compliance. What do you think about this scandal? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses of defense industry news.